Yulon True and welcome to another exciting day in our galaxy and it's time again for another epic forbidden tech. And it just completes a little bit our little three part series of faction forbidden tech against players. But before I talk about the Thaleran radiation, I just want to say if you're not a subscriber of my channel yet, but do like my videos, then please do subscribe to my channel. And when you do also click this little bell and all notifications so you will be notified when another video comes out. But as usual, let's have a look on the different levels and powers it will have in the end when you maxed it. It has 60 possible levels as usual and 12 tiers. It will take you some time to get there after you unlocked it, but it will be kind of worth it to do so because it has four powers again. I often call them milestones because you get them one after another by upgrading. The first one is it increases damage against players and that makes already clear that we are dealing with another PvP forbidden tech here and the maximum you can get as a bonus is 1500%. The second power is it increases hull health with the maximum bonus of 3000%. And the third is it increases critical damage against players when cloaked. We had that before on another one that it's, it's worth cloaking and it gives a bonus of a maximum bonus of a 600% here. And the most decisive part is the last power or the last milestone which increases Romulan ship damage against other players with a maximum bonus of 3000%. The others we already had were for the Federation and the Klingons and here we finally have a forbidden tech for PvP for Romulans. And this is the one that would make the most sense for me at the moment because the Corvus, which is a Romulan ship, is my biggest and, and most powerful ship at the moment. So it would really make sense for me to have the Thaleran radiation on that ship. Thaleran radiation, you will remember if you've seen Star Trek Nemesis, that is what uh, Shinzon had on his scimitar and uh, what he first wanted to use against uh, Earth and the Federation fleet and in the end still wanted to use against the Enterprise. But uh, Data in the end was the decisive person to stop that and that's where, where Data died for the first time, so to speak. As you can see, I don't have it yet and that has a reason because, of course, as usual, you can buy the Thaleran radiation most of the times in um, the Scopely store, but it's one of the epic ones that you can get in-game as well. And for this, we have to go to the Forbidden Tech Refinery because when you reach the Court of Q level 40, which I haven't reached yet, but very soon, then you have the chance to get three epic uh, forbidden texts here by exchanging epic fragments. And the Thaleran uh, radiation is one of them. So here you can um, exchange epic um, forbidden tech fragments for Thaleran radiation shards and get it for free. Of course, if you don't have the patience and I'm forcing myself to have the patience, you can still buy it. But in the end, you can get it for free. And uh, that's not the case with all forbidden techs. So in general, before you buy any forbidden tech, have a look. Can you get it in day in game or is it only available in the Scopely store? And the Thaleran radiation is one of those that you can get in game. And I decided to have the patients to go via the game. I bought another one that you can't get in game and that's the Ferengi whip and uh, that is one of my sources for the epic fragments. I already got epic fragments from the exchange for the um, Ferengi whip but that's not the only source. If you go to the Q trials, when you reach level 40 with a court of Q and have um, collected enough of those seal of approvals via the three star um, trials, you will unlock the four star trials. And as you can see here on the next milestone for the three star trial with the epic with the rare fragments, you will get the epic fragments via 
um, the four-star trials. I'm quite sure of that. It's still quite new, so I haven't had that on, on my uh, former servers. But I'm sure the Epic Fragments will be in there, like the rare ones are in the three-star section. And so you can also get them by doing the Q trials. I think it will be enough for one of the three epic ones you can get from the refinery, so you will have to choose wisely. As I said, I would choose the Thaleran Radiation because of um, my biggest ship at the moment. But when you get there, you will have to decide what is your best ship, what you need that for. Because PvP Forbidden Tech will definitely be a nice addition for incursions, for territory defense, or the next season of territory capture. And so it, it will definitely be helpful. You just saw that the game crashed again. Um, for some time now, I was quite happy about thinking that Scopely did well on its promise with quality over quantity. But for a few days now, the crashes have increased again. And uh, so it's yesterday when we did some, some armadas, my game crashed every second armada again. So something is going uh, in the wrong direction after going in the right direction for some time at least. Nevertheless, it's not like it was at some time where it really was unplayable. So it's it's just a little annoyance like in the middle of a video just restarting. But nevertheless, um, I hope they, they will get that under control again because it was better for, for some time now. But of course, I would like to know if you are on a higher level than me and already got the Thaleran radiation um, via the refinery, if, what you think about it, but also if you are not as patient as need be, for example, and bought it in the Scopey store and are using it on one of your ships, please also let me know what you think about the Thaleran radiation. And if you have questions in general or video requests, you know that I really regularly read the comments. And if you want to see another video right now, the next one is right here in the end screen. I'll see you there. I'll be back.